what's going on guys it's me badgerboy21 and welcome to a clash clans episode guys in today's video i'm going to be explaining how to use two beta minions and two baby dragons in the army camps but before i begin on today's video i just want to say a few things guys before we begin this off first of all i'm going to show you what i've been using and the requirements at least and you're probably thinking what do you mean like for example the bow machine and the level of the troops you've got because let me just say something i've maxed out and i've grinded my way through elixir just to make it a lot of fun i've grinded my way out to get level 12 beta minions baby dragons and get level 10 battle machines so if you feel like your troops are low level and you watch my replay and you're thinking why well, they're not liking like that because the troop levels are different and also it does depend on how you use your army cap because i've put them beta minions on the left side then the right side so then i could just click well i should have actually put the baby dragons on the left side because it's easier for me to deploy them first then keep going if you see what I mean, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna be showing you tips and tricks how to use them, and we are gonna look at some replays and we may do uh, some attacks as well. And also, I thought to myself, why don't we look at my opponent do some of them as well? But not all of them have been done by my opponent, so let's just begin off with the first one I just did. But we'll do the ones I did yesterday, and let me explain now. First of all, with this, this is my opinion how you want to use the troop, I mean, how to use it. So, I'll explain. I would personally. Drop the baby dragons first, not all of them, and then center the beta minions. But remember, the beta minions can have long range for the first four attacks if they are max level. And you can see here, I did deploy them here. And another reason why I went to this side is because I wanted the baby dragons to tank the air bomb while the beta minions would damage it. So what I should have done, actually, is I should have waited a bit longer with the baby dragons, then center of the beta minions. And you can see here very carefully where the air bomb is. Like, you can see the baby dragon right there is tanking it all. And that's perfect. And I think it just gets, yeah, just slightly one more off. Thank goodness it takes it out. Then I start the center of the bow machine just to support the troops and all. And you can see where the builder hall is. We're doing a really good job at the moment. And, yeah, we've taken out quite a lot. Unfortunately, that elixir collector down there wasn't taken out just enough time. But, yeah, as you can see, those beta minions got us a star, which is fantastic. And, yeah, for the rest of this attack, I just sent off my bow machine to do some DPS work around the base because I knew it was going to go for around here. And also another thing I wanted to say is that I did have my bow machine ability ready just here a second. But I decided to save it so that you can demolish the crusher in a few hits. Plus it won't take a lot of its health out. So that's another thing you want to do with your bow machine. And yeah, having a level 10 bow machine really does help. So you can see that I managed to take out a lot of DPS plus with it all. Hint tester pops up when 50% has been announced. And yeah, that's how we got 2 star. You will mainly get 2 star from this if you're using it correctly. And now we're going to show you our opponent. This guy's called Alex. I know he's got dollar signs, but don't worry about it. We'll show you how he, my opponent used it. He did have a similar layout. First of all, he does have. He does not have a level ten bow machine. I just want to point that out straight away. He does not have a level ten bow machine. So let's just remember that. I am going to times forward it here because I think Alex was just. Um, Scout to the base and seeing what they're doing. So this is quite interesting because Alex here is just using the beta minions to do some chip damage and then work out how far the firecrackers range can be. Not a bad idea actually. Not a really bad idea. Just remember these firecrackers at level six can take our beta minion at level twelve in two shots instead of three. So that's really good. And you can see here somehow my arch is not in range enough for that um, beta minion. So that's something you need to watch out for. It's actually if you guys want to become a real pro about this game. Night mode. You really need to watch your replays and study very hard what you need to do because another reason why I've put this up to air is just because it can target longer range units quickly. You can see that it does work well with the firecracker what it just did. And yeah, it seems like my opponent oh, excuse me, was using beta minions to do as much chip damage. But another thing I want to say is that they were easily killed because there weren't much tanks around them. So that's another thing to say about. So yeah, that's something really cool to see. And yeah, this is just ridiculous. But you can then start to see in a second. I think my opponent starts deploying the um, baby dragons in the seconds with the bow machine, if I'm correct. From where I remember watching this from last night. And yet, there we go. The bow machine comes up from the top. He, want, I think, the reason why he, you, my Alex here just sent it up to the top is just to take out some of those army camps and then maybe go around here. It just depends how um, Alex wanted to do. But you can see this base. The base actually gets really good with these level walls. I'll, I'll talk about as well. It's like, look at the, the walls did slow it down. And the double can go over. And you can start to see, now see, all air troops are coming around the side. But a problem here, I'll probably say, is that you deployed your baby dragons way too late. Because really, though, the meta tag also your bow machine got demolished right around here from the double cannon. Like, that double cannon 
does a lot of work on the bow machines. But yeah, you can see my opponent here could have sent off a... Um, should have really sent off um, the Baby Dragons earlier. He does come around here and maybe you could have got a second star and maybe even beaten me because we, when I did my attack, I got two star and 53%, so that's quite a clutch for me. And somehow you were very close to taking out Cannon, which is quite upsetting, but... Oh, well, at least that was good, though. We did see what to do. I do have another attack coming up, so I will do that off camera. And, yeah, guys, I'm trying my very hardest to get back up. So, we'll take a look about... I'll save up three more of mine, and then maybe as many as we can for my opponent. Same same here with Swell, what I was talking about. Like, they have the same troops, numbers, but the same battle machine level, which is quite low. But I'll show you this one here, which was quite clutch. And, um... I'm just going to pause it there. Where do you think... Oh, for goodness sake. I was just going to say, where do you think I should deploy them? Because so I was going to deploy it around here so that the Baby Dragons can tank out... To tank the um, air bomb. And to be honest with you, this side looks really rough because of the level of the sneaky archers down there. So you can see right here, I start sending off all the troops. And yeah, it gets a bit crazy. And look at that. Uh, that air bomb didn't manage to take out all those beta moons. But then it does take out that lot. But then the air bomb's gone, thank goodness. Unfortunately, though, I sent off my battle machine to... Uh, rubbish time unfortunate, but look at this here. Look how well the beta minions and the baby dragons are doing and like You can see straight away that baby dragon was tanking it all out Which is just phenomenal and you can just see here. I almost clutched it with a two star thanks to those beta minions, but my opinion in redoing this attack would probably be to um Use the bow machine at a later time because it was too late because it was gonna get distracted by the guard post uh, the cannon was in range. There were two double cannons as well. Whew. And, well, excuse me. And another thing I would like to say is that um, I should have actually spread out the beta means a bit more, which you may have saw earlier with the last air bomb strike. Strike the um, it killed a lot of the beta means, unfortunately. Now, let's take a look how my opponent did. Fortunately, you did not score any star monster. And I think you've got a TM for trademark. Okay. So let's take a look. So you start the center of the bow machine first. Now I have not seen this replay actually, unfortunately, so I forgot to. Then you start sending off the baby dragons. Okay. And you've got one left, haven't you? Oh, and here comes the beta minions right now. Okay, this is quite interesting. You definitely spread them out really well, I will admit. I just saw the last baby baby dragon come along. And yep, you can see the firecrackers are actually tanking the baby dragons, unfortunate. And yeah, the double cannon get I mean sorry, the double cannon did take out the bow machine, but what I would have said earlier is that actually I might just pause it here. I would have said that you shouldn't have used those air troops to take out that double cannon down there earlier. Watch this. Boom. There's another problem you forgot as well to be careful of. This air bomb just demolished as many of those troops. And in my opinion, that air bomb did not take those all out. I might have gone two starred on this attack. So, yeah, that wouldn't be bad for us. But anyway, let's just keep watching it. And you, you can just see here very clearly the firecracker. It's just targeted on those beta minions very wisely, very well. Thank goodness that one goes to the far side because it's the last one. But yeah, guys, you need to be really careful with these, the air bomb because the air bomb demolishes, and I mean it properly demolishes um, the ba the beta minions. It's just ridiculous. If I showed you their health at the moment, it's 161. And if I showed you the air bomb, times that by three because it takes three seconds to deploy and activate. That's like 300, over 300 damage. That's something to be careful of. You probably think, why are you flicking your hair? Well, I have, um, I really need a haircut anyway, so, because my hair is getting a bit heavy. Now, I'll show you another replay, and this one was quite good, actually. So, I've got two star and 65%, which wasn't bad, actually. Another thing, we need to say this straight away about the space layout. I was completely shocked the Crusher was being upgraded. That gave me a humongous advantage for my battle machine. So I then first off decided to send off the beta min baby dragons. Then the beta minions come along. It wasn't a bad idea. And yet, as you can see, guys, you're probably well right. Baby the um, bow machine was obviously going to come around here because of that crusher. If I went around here, it would have started being activated. But this crusher here was being upgraded, which was, you must, uh, it's just ridiculous. Oh, I'll say in a sec. So yeah, the crusher there, it gives me a, it gives, uh, just what I said earlier, a humongous advantage for this attack. And also, guys, you should never, ever upgrade your head. Upgrade your defense while attacking. If you're going to like a storage of clock tower, that's kind of fine. But if you've got three minutes left just to see you get to extra health, then that's fine. But you can see here, um, my bow machine goes to work, and then you can see in a second the ability comes off where it is at the moment. And yeah, look at that. Also, the baby dragons managed to tank out all the air stuff while my bow machine does work to the builder hall, which is ridiculous. And yeah, the baby minions do come along just to help. So that's really nice as well. You've just saw, and then yeah, 
two star, which is really nice to see. And yeah, and then I was just thinking to myself, I might as well get a high percent anyway. I knew my Crusher wasn't going to make it through the Bound Machine because of the double cannon and the Crusher. And then I knew my Beta Minions were going to take out a lot of stuff here, but I didn't expect to take out the Hintessa. Also, another thing, the Roaster is really good at taking out small multiple units, so I would be very careful about that. Uh, well, I kind of don't want to watch this one because it doesn't use it, but I think there was another one here. Yeah, there was. Yeah, this one here, I'll show you. I know this is not the guy we attacked, but I'll show you a different one. But yeah, let's just talk about this. So first of all, you deploy your beta minions early. Okay, because I'm guessing you just wanted to use their ability. Then you send off your baby dragons, but the baby dragons are too close to gavel. I will accept your battle machine at level 8, that's fine. But then you can just see here, like, what's going on. It's a bit chaotic. The baby dragons are too close together. The air bomb now goes off. If I'm correct, yep, you can see those air, the air bombs going to start taking out the beta minions because... You tightly put your baby dragons too close together, and it's not that good. Also, look at look right here. Like, do, oh, just pause it perfectly. Look, your baby dragons weren't spread out properly, so that it was damaged. Because since your baby dragons were close together, your sorry, when the baby dragons were close together, the beta minions were gaining up closely, and that's when the um, air bombs decided to target the nearest troops ever, and that's another reason why. Because like, look there. You could have scored easily to a second star from that attack, unfortunately. Also, the crusher managed to be in range for that battle machine. And you guess it. Somehow, the bound, every time you take out that guard post with the battle machine, it goes down there, unfortunately. And that's just crazy. But, yeah, guys, that's another thing I want to say. Be very careful with your deploy. And now, I'm going to show you one I've failed. So, you don't end up like me, unfortunately. So, I will show you a failed one for the final episode of today. So, yeah. And then I'll show you another replay. So, yeah. Here we go. Here comes some more. You can see I kind of done it in a bad attack. Then I really did delay the bad minions. I did delay the battle machine. I shouldn't have played too early. And also, the, I mainly went to the opposite side and stuff because of the crusher's low level. But then you can see in a second, for no apparent reason, the crusher bee is a bit silly. And look at that right now. It just got killed. Like, the crusher there was just a massive disadvantage. Unfortunately, the um, beta minions weren't doing really well. And yeah, guys, don't do what I've just done in this attack. It was just awful because of how um i did attack and yeah you can see here i didn't score much percent because of this um air bomb that stopped us that's really unfortunate <laughs> really unfortunate but yeah better show you the stats quickly of um the beta units i will pull a picture up right now of their actual upgrades and everything for the levels what i said at the beginning of the video we were mainly looking at level 12 beta minions level 12 baby dragons and level 10 bow machine i will pull screen up right now of the results so here comes another one of the baby dragon just remember though the beta minions get long range at their ability the baby dragons do double damage if it's the only separate air unit and then uh, the bow machine yeah gets a new level upgrade so the pretty much it's called the electric hammer upgrades every five levels and it's really good and i do like the fact i think it's still good at stay at for 14 instead of 12 seconds because thinking that 12 seconds might be too much or maybe 13 seconds we'll be falling Another thing I want to say, guys, is that, yes, I am going to be upgraded, and I'm pleased to announce the Rage Barbarians are being upgraded. I will then go back to the um, Night Witch, just to upgrade her, and then, um, yeah, we'll just see what I want to upgrade next. But, yeah, guys, I know this is going to be a short video for today, so I need to check there's something that needs to pop up on my computer. But, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this um, tips and tricks with the um, beta, baby Oh, sorry the baby dragons and the beta minions with the battle machine so yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys got any questions please leave a comment below because i'm or do it asap or on the first week of the video just to help you guys and also um yeah guys i hope you mean i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like comment share friends friends or subscribe channel to see some more clash of clans and some more tips and tricks and guys there is a new game that i've just found and i really enjoy and i can't wait to do a video on that but the guys that won't happen until um another day so i was supposed to i'm gonna be recording it on the weekend so i may have tweeted that out saying i'm gonna be recording it on the weekend it might be up later later but when we be doing i'm gonna upload it on a different actually episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! ones and guys i've already planned out the um Yu -Gi -Oh! episodes we're gonna do and i just want to say really quickly is that um you may now slightly see three Yu -Gi -Oh! episodes and one clash of clans episode for a week just for a week just to say mainly because of the um Rachel Barbarian's troops I'm going to be doing. But yeah, I just want a heads up with that. Plus, there will be a new video of um, a new game I found that's really good. So you might be seeing for Yu-Gi-Oh's, the new game, Clash of Clans, 
three Yu-Gi-Oh's Clash of Clans, then two Yu-Gi-Oh's and Clash of Clans one. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I said already, and yeah, guys, see you in the next episode. Have an awesome day, everyone. Take care and goodbye.